Welcome to Makeshift Shows with Just Randy. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. If you're returning, thanks for the support. And as always, if you want me to make a video of your strategy, let me know about it in the comments section. In tonight's video, I'll be demonstrating the best roulette strategy ever. Guaranteed. Yeah, I said it. Because this is a Bill G special. What he has done is cut the board in half. We are going to place a bet in the first dozen and the first double street. And that will be grouped together. We're also going to place bets on the third dozen and the last double street in the second dozen. And they will be grouped together. Now remember, what happens to the first dozen always happens to the first double street. Because, like I said, we are pairing them together. The only difference is their up bets will be different because their payoffs are different. Also, the third dozen and last double street will be paired, like I said before, just like the first dozen and first double street. The up bets are 1, 3, 6, 12, 24, and 50 for the dozens, and 1, 2, 3, 7, 12, and 25 for the double streets. During the demonstration, I will walk you through it. So let's demonstrate. Let's demonstrate. All right, so remember, we're splitting the board in half. So we have one unit on the first dozen, one unit on the third dozen, and one unit on the two double streets to start out with. I know, it sounds crazy, but that's what we got to do. So we have a winner in the first dozen. So it's going to remain a one, and the first double street's going to remain a one, and we're going to add two units to the second double street and three to the third dozen. All right, because we have to up bet that side of the board because that side of the board did not hit. And it did hit this time. So that means we're going to have one unit in the third dozen and one unit in the double streets that's connected to that side of the board. And we're going to have two units on the double street, 13 through 16. And we're going to have three units on the first dozen. Because remember, we split the board in half. And they have different up bets because of the different payoffs. Okay, so we have a red 16, which fell in the double street, but it's connected to the first dozen. So those both go to one unit, and we put two units on the 19 through 22 double street, and three units on the 25 through 36 dozen. All right, so here we go. That's I mean, so far we're, we're popping off and making money. And here we go. It's flip-flopped again. So here we are in the 32. So 32, we're going to get one unit in the third dozen, one unit in its double street because they're paired, and two units in the double street, 13 through 16, and three units in the first dozen. And here we go. Easy peasy. And we have a black 15, which fell in that first double street, which is paired with the first dozen. So both of them are going to get one unit. So we're going to clear the board and give them one unit. And 19 through 22 gets two units. And 25 through 36 gets three units. There we go. All right. <clears throat> and we're rolling. And we're spinning. And we have a black 29, which is on the right half of the board all right so it and its double street will get one unit the first dozen is going to get three units and two units on the 13 16 double street and whoop there we go and we're going to hit spin and we're climbing our money's climbing when we were winning every time we up bet and then hit that side we're winning and here we go all right so so we're going to clear our bets. We get one on the first dozen, one on 13, 13 16 double street, and two on the 19 20 through 22, and three on the third dozen. I mean, right now, this flip-flop is exactly what we want. We're winning money, and here we go again. We hit on the 31. So, of course, the third dozen and its, second, and its double street gets one, and the first dozen gets three, and its double street gets two. And here we go, and we're rolling, and we're, and we have a black eight. All right, man, this is exactly what we want it to have happen. It's flopping back and forth between high and low, and we've got this board. Now remember, if we hit a zero, we have to up bet both sides. So wherever they lay, then we have to up bet them. All right, so let's see what we got here. And we have a red 16. All right, we've hit that double street. Mm -mm -mm. So our next up bet is going to be six in the third dozen and four in the double street that's connected because we split the board in half. 
And remember, we stay with one unit bet on the first dozen and the first double street. And what do we have here? How ah, we good? We had a winner. All right, on the 32. All right, so that means it's going to one unit and it's double street to one unit. And now we have to up bet the first 12 to three and it's double street to two. All right, fantastic. Ah, man, we're rolling now. Bill G, you found something here, buddy. All right, what do we have? We have a black 22, which fell in that double street, the second half of the table, double street. So what that means is we have to up bet. All right, what happened? Here we go. At six and three. Six in the first dozen, three in the double street, because this is our third loss, second loss. And, and, of course, the third dozen will have its one. Here we go. Now we're rolling. If we get a big number, we get to go even higher. And it's a 19, and it fell in that second half of the board. Uh-oh. So our next up bet is going to be 12. And you see 12 in the first dozen. And six in the, or seven in the second column. Second double street, sorry. And then one and one because it's still winning. Oh, so now we've won over here in the front half. So now they get one and one, and we have to clear the board, and we're going to have one and one, and then we up bet two for 19 through 22, and three in the 25 through 26. Very simple. Whew. That's a mouthful, too. This video has been. Okay, 16. So we won again in the... the oh, we won in the first half. So that means... We uh, have to up bet that second half. Oh, what do we have here? And we have, and we have a 12, which is in the front. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So that means we're going up to seven and 12 in the back half. All right, here we go. So this is three rolls that's landed in the first half of the board. And an 18, which is, oh, another one. All right, so now we get to up bet that back half even more. Uh-oh. All right, so that's going to go up to 12, and this is going up to 24. There we go. Uh-oh. We're getting there, and then we're rolling, and we're spinning, and we, ah, we got a big number. Yes. So that means the third dozen goes back to one, and it's double street to one, and the first dozen will get three units, and... The first double street will get two. And that's how you play right there, boys and girls. Oh, man. That is fantastic. And here we go. And we have a black 31. Uh oh, so now we have to, we get to up bet the front half of the board again. All right. So now we're going to jump up to six and three. Here we go. What do we have? Oh, uh oh, another high number. So now we're up to uh, we're up to seven and whoop 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 twelve. Uh oh, oh come on, seven, seven and twelve, and of course one and one. I was trying to get it, and and we hit a, a early uh, front side of the board. All right, fantastic, man! This is unbelievable. Yep. So I hope you enjoyed this video, Bill G. You did an awesome job creating this, and thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and remember, if you want me to make your video, please let me know about it in the comments section, and I'll make your video and look at your system, and we'll see how it plays out. Thanks for watching. See ya.